Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Johnny's Nasek YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna continue my Barracuda Cloud Gen Firewall configuration. This is the new topology we're gonna use. Comparing to previous videos topology, now we're gonna enable our LAN interface and also connect our WAN interface to a computer so we can test it. The WAN interface is going to be on a 10.10.0 network. The LAN interface is going to connect into the port 2 will be 10.2.0 network. So my previous video shows you how to do initial configuration which includes how to connect a cable, how to con use firewall admin software to access it how to update system firmware and change port status and IP address. Now, in this video, we're going to configure firewall policy, NAT rule, and also we're going to configure those port 2, port 4 interfaces to match our topology. Once all setting up, we're going to test it using WAN PC and LAN PC to test the traffic through the firewall. So now let's start it. First, let's log into our firewall admin software to take a look at current configuration. So we're going to use this software firewall admin to log in. We're going to log through the management interface IP 192.168.2.247. After login, you will be presented on a dashboard page. On a dashboard page, you should be able to see the interfaces status. At this moment, P1 has been configured with IP 192.168.2.247 as management interface. P2 hasn't been configured, but there's a cable connecting to it. P4, also not configured, has a cable connecting to it. So based on our topology, P2 will be LAN interface, P4 will be WAN interface. Now let's configure the IP address on those P2 and P4 interfaces. So we go to configuration and uh, double click network under the box menu. So double click on it, we will open the network configuration tab. At this moment, the management network and IPs has been configured. Nothing else, especially on this shared networks and IP section. There's nothing here, only one loopback zero IP configured here. That's by default. So to start to configure the IP address on P2 and P4, we need to unlock this page to do the configuration. Click the lock button. You will get unlock this word on this button. That means we can start to make changes. We're going to add a new interface name called LAN here. So we're going to use P2 for LAN network address for the LAN network is 10.2.0.0 slash 24. IP address for this interface on the firewall is 10.2.0.200. One thing I would like to change is change this to yes for response to pin. That will make our troubleshooting much easier. Okay. Okay, to save the change. And let me add a second interface when. It's interface for P4 based on our topology. Network address is 10.10.0.0 slash 24. For the IP on this interface, based on our topology, 
the IP is 10.10.0.200. Same, we enable pin response to make our life easier. Click OK again. So we have two interfaces configured P2 and P4. P2, P4. Once you finish configuration, you need to send changes to the box. Once you send it, you will get activation pending. The configuration is waiting to be activated. Just click on this activation pending word, then choose activate. Now we have finished the interface configuration. We're gonna use our test machine when PC and the LAN PC to do this testing. I already configured the two virtual machines with this IP and the gateway, IP address gateway on them. Now let's take a look. This is our LAN PC IP 10.2.0.100. It's in our VMware workstation environment, IP address 10.2.0.100. We should be able to pin our gateway 200. And also we should be able to pin another IP on firewall, which is 10.10.0.200 since we enabled pin. So let's firewall IP, both are pinnable. Then PC, we're gonna check our WAN PC. Our WAN PC is on IP 10.10.0.100. .10 I'm using a Hyper-V machine to simulate it. We should be able to pin our gateway as well. So we are having gateway 10.10.0.200 and we also should be able to pin a LAN IP on the firewall. Both are pinnable. But we were not able to pin between those two PC because firewall don't allow LAN to pin each other yet. So from one PC to LAN PC won't be able to work. So let's pin 10. 2.0.100 it's not working same thing if we pin 100 it won't work it will be blocked by our firewall now next step we are gonna start to configure our firewall policy to allow this pin traffic Configure firewall rules also is pretty simple to do. We can go to the configuration tree, find out the next generation firewall, expand it, and you will see forwarding rules. Double click on it, forwarding rules tab will open. By default, there are 11 default firewall rules has been created. We don't need to touch them. We just need to start to add a new firewall rules on top of it. So same thing, we're gonna go to lock button to unlock the changes on this page. Then you can click anywhere to say new rule. So it says block rule, but we're gonna change it to pass, which is allow. So we will change the name to ICMP rule. You can put the by direction, but for this, we're gonna just put the any as a source a service. We're gonna put the ICMP as a service. Destination will be any. 
So in this way, we don't need to do bi-directional. If you put network address here on source and destination, then you can choose bi-directional to allow both ways pin each other. So we create the Lua, and we will get the ICMP allow Lua name. So it's a pass Lua, allow ICMP only. Send changes, activation pending, just to activate it. In less than 10 seconds, the file Lua has been activated. Now, let's take a look at our changes. Previously, we tested, we will not be able to pin close the firewall. We won't be able to pin our LAN PC from this WAN PC. Now let's try it again. Now it's pinnable. Same thing from LAN PC to WAN PC. We are able to pin each other. But we won't be able to do more than that. For example, if we want to from WAN PC, we want to try RDP to it. 10.2 dot zero to one hundred. We won't be able to do that because the firewall rule doesn't allow it. Next step, I'm gonna configure a destination net rule to allow our WAM PC to RDP our LAN PC. To create that destination net lure is also simple. Same process. Unlock this page. Then add a new lure. Change from block to destination NAT. Have the source, we can do same. We can put them any source. The service, we're going to put the RDP here. Since we only want to allow RDP to pass in through. Destination, we're going to be put any or any firewall IP. What that means is we are going to use the WAN PC to RDP to our firewall IP. And once firewall received, this request, they're gonna do destination and AT change to this LAN PC's IP. So we're gonna RDP directly to 10.10.0 .10 to 200, the WAN IP address, but actually the traffic was sent to the LAN PC to handle it. So the destination will all firewall IPs. So redirection, which is our final destination, which is 10.2.0.100 since we're gonna use 10.10.0.100 as a source. So destination NAT rules completed. Then we're gonna put our our first rule. We're gonna send the changes. We're gonna add a new rule. Let's say we're gonna use the same destination NAT we can start to do some changes. So this is our LAN PC. This is our WAN PC. So we're going to RDP to it, but we're going to RDP to our firewall IP address, which is 10.10.0.200. .10 so we're going to do connect. Right away, we got the prompt for the credentials. So we're going to log in. So we got a list certification error notification. So don't ask us again, say yes. We also got that notification. Another user is currently logged in. We do yes. And then we received on this LAN PC, we received 
the RTP request. Of course, we can allow that. So the users cannot be logged out. The new users logged in from remote. So we can see our username. We are using admin1 to log in. IP address 10.2.0.100. So we are RTP to 10.10.0.200, but actually it goes to 10.2.0.200. So that's how destination NAT Lua works. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Same as uh, other videos. If you like this video, give me a thumb up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do to support me. See you in my next video.